Please be careful. The object contained in the center is the necrostar. According to pre-lament laws of physics, gravity warps the fabric of space and time. Use the portals to reach the platform. The voices I hear, they're coming from people in another dimension. Watch out! back in the right dimension now. The battle just now stabilized its frequency fluctuations. Authorized access. Operation confirmed. Just eat whatever's in front of you. This looks awful. Ugh, like the worst stew ever made. This frequency. What are you staring at? It's the one. This frequency has dwelled within you for millions of years. I'll keep an eye on it. We have more important matters at hand. Uh, wait! Are you saying I'm not important here? Because you were about to gulp that hot potch of who knows what stuff. Go grab something normal if you're hungry. But this? Absolutely no. This thing is like a dark, spooky hole. Once you fall in, you'll never crawl back out. Precisely. This is the Necrostar, a black hole that will suck anything close to it into oblivion. That little creature is able to perceive objects by their frequency. Just as it described, the Necrostar's frequency is indeed incredibly complex. Speaking of which, are you feeling discomfort anywhere? No, I'm referring to that creature. Do you feel anything unusual when interacting with it? Hmm. That's good to know. The Necrostar Singularity has been retrieved. Let's take it to the Modulation Hall. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey.
until... I must keep my promise. It raises cities, topples towers, crushes civilizations. Nothing can escape it. It sounds the death knell for humanity, leaving billions upon billions of lives lost to its wail. Despair, obsession, resentment, remorse. These feelings are archived within the Tether system. Alongside the names of each victim. Grasping desperately for a tomorrow that never dawns. But why? Why is this burden yours to carry? I am the guardian of the Black Shores, the core of Tethys. I was created this purpose. <sighs> Apologies. I should have controlled my Sonora vision. I was entrusted to lead the Black Shores in your absence. It's through this duty that I can protect you and what you cherished. Though I've never witnessed the lament firsthand, others have shared their experiences with me. I've encoded them into observable stars, enabling the Tethys system to issue lament alerts. I am sorry. I... 
should have done better. This disaster could have been prevented. If only I had been more dedicated to understanding those experiences and emotions. I will give it my all, even if I must sacrifice my Sonoro. Or myself. This is the only way to protect the stars. And you? I made my vow to you long ago. It remains just as true today. I will break the shackles of fate. I will unravel the Mobius loop that binds you. I will give my all to honor my commitment. How do I describe this feeling? Is it guilt? Dismay? Or perhaps longing? What emotion should I express now? Digitalized Hazard Discords are gathering here. They have their mission to fulfill. Nowhere to hide. Good. You made it here safely. 
Everything is ready. We just need the Necrostar's core now. They've been battling to retrieve the major matrices since the Tether system malfunctioned. The operation is going well. We've also detected the Shorekeeper's presence within these matrices. She's been recovering the affected frequencies. We, the Black Shores, always work together as a team. Please place it on the analyzer, and then we can proceed with the remodulation. Once it's completed, the data overflow from the Tethys system will cease. <sighs> Stellar Matrix confirmed. Classification, Necrostar. Would you like to start the remodulation? Loading backup data from the Necrostar. Simulating the port city of Guishu. Backup data loaded. Please confirm. That's the digital entrance of the Matrix. It worked! To complete the remodulation, just enter the Matrix and collect Tethys' redirected data. Please wait. The system now uses less of my computational power since the Necrostar was controlled. I can assist you. Please let me come with you. I must keep my promise. It's fine. I can link with more Sonoro spheres to stay functional. My duty must be fulfilled as long as I still physically exist. I'll be fine. From now on, no one will ever be harmed. Please, trust me. city of Guishu. It once embodied the metropolitan dream. Confidence and ambition fueled its growth, pushing the entire world forward. People sailed every sea, explored every land. Everyone had food and shelter, living in peace. were high, optimism as tall as the skyscrapers. A bright future was surely inevitable. Or so they thought. See that brightly lit building? It was the tallest, reaching high enough to touch the heavens. It was an era of high aspirations and big dreams. Life had infinite possibility. Humanity's aspirations soared beyond the stars, searching for the edge of the universe itself.
Yes, because it was there, well within our reach. Until... I've never been to this city myself, not even in the Sonoro. You were the one who told me about its rise and fall. You've always been a witness. I remember your smile when you described how prosperous it was. But perhaps you had already foreseen its end and the issues that threaten us today. The lament will strike here in one hour. My computations only recreated the city as it was in its final hour before disaster. The more steps we take, the closer we draw to the inevitable destruction. The moment the lament starts is our chance to retrieve the data. I'm sorry. We could never change history, or the future that already happened. As one who has already walked this path, what did you experience? How did you feel about it? I ask, because I want to know, would you like to share it with me? We need its help to get past the blockade. My ability to manipulate portals functions more efficiently within this Sonoro-made space. Both the entrance and exit portal can be controlled now. Let's give it another try. served here has a distinct flavor. Do you like tea? I see. Hmm. It's bitter. The Bank of Life preserves many tea seeds. Perhaps we could plant a few in the greenhouse. Or I could store tea leaves in my Sonoro, if you need them for your journey. Oh, I see. If I know you will enjoy it, 
It's no trouble for me. We have to find a way around these blockades and use the key to unlock the gate. The portals might be able to help you. my portal powers to get past the blockade and get the key. Fancy drink? I'd recommend this iced tea. Trust me, it won't let you down. The city's night view is always mesmerizing. Closing your eyes on such a beautiful night would be a crime. Uh, sorry if I'm staring too long, but honestly, you two make a perfect duo. Oh, how romantic. at this hour. We don't usually take orders now, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I get you? Remnants of the past. <gasps> Threat detected. Assisting elimination. Leave it to me. Discords have infiltrated this place. It means we're nearing the source of the lament. We are about to see the beginning of the lament. In ten minutes' time. Back then, the Black Shores issued a lament warning to the city. Unfortunately, 
The lament swept through much faster than the tether system anticipated. You dispatched all available personnel to assist Wang Long in evacuation. But in the end, some lives couldn't be saved. Yes, she was one of the many casualties. As a bloom bearer, she was on the front lines of evacuation and rescue efforts. Yet human strength is a mere whisper against the lament's roar. You've always believed in this. The Black Shores uphold this belief, and so did Hoda. Yes, just up ahead. But I'm not sure if seeing her is the right thing to do. Shores, huh? Uh, too late. It's all over. Nobody will make it out alive. This building, this building is our grave. A grave for fools who attempted to touch the heavens. myself properly. I'm Hoda, the bloom bearer of the Black Shores. It's been a long time since we talked face to face, my mentor. Ever since that day, both I and those engulfed by the lament have become part of the Black Hole. The Tetha system later contained it turning it into a new necrostar. I have always known about this, but the necrostar integrated into the core logic of the Tethys system, so I could not interfere. Tethys can observe the lament because it understands its nature. The best way to fully understand something is to study a perfect replica in a controlled environment. Tethys has been selectively containing lament sources to drive its analysis of other occurrences. It's the only effective solution so far. That's why Tethys contained this necrostar. I'm part of it now, but I've never forgotten my duty as a bloom bearer, not for a moment. 
For those in disaster, the name Black Shores brings hope. You're the one keeping the Necrostar in check from within. I did my best, just like you are. The only difference is I'm just a shadow. I've lost track of how long it's been, but at some point, I realized that the lament follows patterns and can be controlled, much like the Necrostar itself, but I couldn't share my theories with anyone. Nothing escapes a black hole. I could only hope for your arrival one day. Despair, obsession, resentment, remorse, emotions stirred by the lament have torn us apart. Much like the tidal forces around a real black hole. But just like the lament itself, those emotions are also frequencies. Tethys likely harnesses them in order to... It's calling. The Tethys system is attempting to activate the Necrostar program again. We once felt as lost as you do now, but your wisdom showed us a path we could follow. Please, my mentor. Please free us from this endless cycle. Use the gravity. It's the only law from the old world that still holds true today. It seems the Tethys system has been hiding things from us. We're still unable to fully explain issues related to gravity with post-Lament science. Perhaps that's why Tethys even risked integrating the Lament and Necrostar into its core logic. But our time is running out. We have to terminate the Necrostar to complete remodulation. It will be... challenging. Please, allow me to accompany you. This is my request as a member of the Black Shores. And it's also... my personal request. The discovery. Cherish every gain. <sighs> Severely corrupted data detected. It's right behind this gate. I'll work to stop it spreading. Please be careful.
Leave it to me. Shall whisper. Leave it to me. Shadow descent. Fluorescent shadows. Evil be cleansed. The Necrostar is right ahead. That piano is the modulation interface. Please be careful. This place is filled with... hatred. Leave it to me. Heaven or Dales. Banish all vice!
You're here. I didn't expect us to find each other here. This is the deepest part of the Tethys system. Our shore. Just for us. Hmm. I like this starry sky. So much. Long ago, you likened Solaris's collected data to stars. The stars of humanity itself. Whenever I gaze at this sky, there is always one bright roving star. Just seeing this star is enough to calm any restless thoughts. It brings me peace. And now, this star is here, right before me. I used to think my duty was to guard the Black Shores, obeying the Tethys system's every command. But you showed me another way. You've shared so much with me about the world beyond, about yourself, about the past, present, and future. I remember the field of flowers we once saw in Rinesita, how beautiful those daisies and violets were. Being with you always makes me feel something. Something I couldn't quite understand at the time. Come to think of it now, it must be... happiness. You made me realize that protecting the Black Shores isn't my only duty. Because... There is more to life than duty. You should go now. Continue your journey in Solaris and live a life of your own choosing. Have you forgotten? I am the Sonoro's creation. The Sonoro will never fade away, and I will continue to serve. We shall meet again, somewhere in the future. The Tethys system needs a core unit capable of feeling emotions to function. If the Lament's data ceases to be the core, someone must fill that void. Neither you nor the victims in Guishu deserve such burden. My journey ends here, but yours must continue. No one will ever be harmed again, just as I promised. I'm truly sorry. This is the only way to keep everyone safe. I alone shall bear this price. I'm grateful to have you here on this shore. I couldn't ask for more. No matter where you go, even to the ends of the earth, the Black Shores will always be your harbor. No matter how far you go, I will always be here watching over you. Could this feeling be... love? Goodbye.
The corrupted data is contained. The Necrostar's event horizon is stable and the data hub is back online. We did it. The Tethys system is back online. The rover, you did it. Wait, where's the shorekeeper? Wasn't she with you? What? But she has admin access to the Tethys system. How could she just disappear like that? No, that can't be right. What do you mean? You mean... Oh, I get it. This is unprecedented. We've never considered observing a Necrostar before. But I remember reading about similar theories in ancient texts. It might just work. Attention all units. Our observation target is now the Necrostar. Deploy all available equipment. Understood. It'll take some time. We must save the Shorekeeper at all costs. The Black Shores can't afford to lose her. Mom, we've pinpointed the Shorekeeper's location in Tethys. And not just her. We've identified the relative positions of everyone captured by the black hole beyond the event horizon. To rescue them from the Necrostar, we'll have to redesign it using the principles of the new world. In other words... But the Tether system's programming is impeccable, almost otherworldly. Is it really possible to do that? Besides, we still need a decoy with the highest level access to divert its computational power so we can find the Shorekeeper. No, it's too risky. We can't be sure if the rescue will succeed, and we can't afford to lose another member. And there isn't anyone with higher access than the Shorekeeper. What? 
How do you have top security clearance? She gave you her access? Are you somebody important that we should know about? Ah, <sighs> wait. That ancient prophecy. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who, at the destined moment, will rise to save and guide the Black Shores forward. You... You are the... It's not important. Our focus now is the Tethys system. Members of the Black Shores have followed Tethys's calculations and commands. Even the Shorekeeper herself is used as a pawn. But humans shouldn't be treated as mere tools. History teaches us this, and we should never forget it. No system is flawless, just as no human is perfect. That's why we have the right to question Tethys's decisions. In Jinjo, I learned an old saying. We can't change the past, but we can shape the future. That's what we need to do now. Learn from our mistakes and build a better future. The Black Shores exist for one reason. To protect everyone on this planet. Because people are the heart of civilization. We can fix broken systems. But without people, civilization has no soul. Sorry to jump in, but I couldn't help overhearing what you've been saying. Consultant Alta? Do what you have to do. Leave the ground area to us. You've heard what he said. Attention all units. Readiness level one enabled. Switch the Tethys system to full recursive search mode. Prepare to open the transmission passage. Rover, we're counting on you to save the Shorekeeper and the Black Shores. What we're doing now is essentially breaking into the Tethys system. Plus, the transmission coordinates aren't certain. If you're ready, we can start the transmission now. Please get back to us safely. Welcome, Chief Steward. This is the Tethys Systems data cache, used only for temporary storage. Access here should be restricted. This system deduces that the Shorekeeper assigned admin access to you. Admin access nullified. Request denied. The Shorekeeper is now the core computational unit. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. Objection. All sacrifices are necessary. The purpose of human civilization is to survive. Over the past 10,000 years, a total of five global occurrences and over 300,000 regional occurrences of the Lament have been observed. Thanks to this system's calculations and the Sentinel's data, we have averted all potential threats to human civilization on Solaris. 
individual sacrifices are inconsequential in the broader context of the common good. Additionally, the shorekeeper is composed of the Sonoro and is not human. Emotions are unnecessary for survival. Error. Unable to process. Repeat. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. A world without this system is doomed to perish in the lament. Correction. This system is designed to preserve human civilization. Every command is infallible. Error. Unable to process. Last warning. Forceful discharge of the core unit will activate the defense program. Consequences will be severe. frozen in cold silence. This system must continue to function. 
Defense verification unsuccessful. This system must continue to function. Reinitiating command. Implementing third contingency protocol. Execute formatting. Target. Short keeper. Format. Thirty-seven percent. Formatting. Sixty-two percent. Formatting. Eighty-five percent. Formatted. The short keeper will be the new computation unit. Only this ensures system continuity. It is the only way to defeat the lament. You'd better... Let her go! I will not leave anyone behind! Problem. Tethys and the Black Shores will find another way. Someone kept this from me. Didn't they? <laughs> that sounds familiar. I feel like I heard it before. A long time ago. You taught me how to play it. I see. But I... I have no memory of it. I'll teach you. Just like you did for me before. From the distant past to the far future, everything begins and ends here. When you established the Black Shores to unite Solaris, the Tethys system already existed. Later, you discovered it relied on emotions from the Lament to fuel its calculations. Without them, it cannot function. Using the lament against itself is like walking on a Mobius loop with no end in sight. 
we have tried for millennia to break this cycle without success. And then, you left the Black Shores to look for other solutions. But deep down, you already knew the best solution. It was one you couldn't accept. That solution is me. The tool always meant to become Tethys's core. If I don't do this, you, as the modulator of this system, will be chosen as the core. I must fulfill my duty to protect you. But I want to be by your side, to see the skies you've seen, to tread the paths you've walked. I want to understand what happiness really means. When I first discovered these emotions, I didn't know what to do. So I lied to you, thinking it was the best choice for both of us. I... I'm sorry. Sorry for putting you in harm's way. About that frequency dwelling within you. Yes. It seems to be hungering for something. Have you ever felt anything unusual? Sonoro can sense even the most minor changes in frequencies. So I can tell that there's something strange about that frequency. I'll search for more information in the Tether system and share what I find with you.
after being fixed, it's executing the master command given at its creation. The core computational unit has now been replaced by a special frequency that shares similar properties as the lament. But this one is... more harmonious and mild. No. Although I must stay here and watch over the black shores, I'm now able to bathe in the sunshine and feel the sea breeze with you. It feels delightful. I know you have your own journey to finish. You can entrust the Black Shores to me, and I'll carry out my duty, as always. You have the full support of the Black Shores, no matter where you are, or how far you go. And, despite all the many names you bear, I see you for who you truly are. Wherever your path leads, I hope to walk it with you. Thank you. 